did it flatter us last week? Yeah, this week, yeah, it was a, we had some chances today, I thought, you know, we didn't quite capitalise. Um, you know, like, yeah, I'm just, I'm thinking when, you know, Northampton were down to 13 men, you know, and they, they held us out at that stage and get a penalty. And there was, there was a couple of bits in the first half, you know, even though we scored four tries in the first half, there was other chances that we probably had. Um, defensively, it's never great conceding three tries, so there's there's bits to do there. Um, I thought Northampton, you know, in their credit, like they were, like they're missing a lot of players at the moment um, through injury. So there are a lot of young guys out there, um, and but they were very committed, are very aggressive around the rook, and you know I think that's what teams do, you know, try and slow other teams up, will be aggressive in that contact area. Um, which there's a bit of risk reward that for teams, you know, because if they go aggressive, if they don't stop us, it, it means they commit a lot of players into that space. So there's going to be space somewhere else. So, um, yeah, it was a little bit mixed, you know. I, I thought today, like even uh, people are talking po quite positive terms about the performance. Like, there's there's bits in there where you're like, mm, you know, I think we could get ourselves in trouble if we if we deliver that again. So. Um, on the flip side, like it's it's a win. It's, uh, it keeps us trucking along, you know. And we turn our attention to other matters. Back to the Guinness Pro 14. See, we turn the ball over and they go the length, and we give away a penalty off the line break. So again, it's just making sure that we're a little bit more clinical sometimes with our own execution with our attack. So you know, I thought we coughed up the ball cheaply a couple of times, but that was quite similar to what we talked about last week. And you know, we we were in the first half last week. We pushed it a number of occasions. Um, and again, it's the risk reward piece as well. So, um, yeah, like you, in these big games, you know, how you control the ball is it's so key because the way the game is now, the way it's being refereed, you're like the referees are in favour of the attacking team. So, you know, it's a, anyways, a game of possession. So, um, and trying to hold on to possession. So, um, yeah, I think it was. Yeah, there was times we were we probably wrote a look a little bit, but we, we talked about that last week as well. Um, so definitely, I think we could be a little bit more clinical across the board. Yeah, he had a dead leg there, so um, what well, was it, 47 or 8 minutes? It was great, great, brilliant experience for Kieran Frawley to come on in that game. So um, you know, playing here in the Aviva, like for for starters, like there's obviously the support base is brilliant. You know, we talked about it here yesterday. You know, to get over 40,000 to a game, to a regular season game, it's brilliant. Um, so again, hopefully we have a couple of some big attendances during this Christmas period as well with the interprovincial games. But um, with Ross, yeah, just a dead leg for him. Um, Kieran comes in, and you know, I thought Kieran does well. Like it's a massive step up. Like well, he's 21 years of age, so um, <coughs> another positive step in his uh, progression. Um, you know, so yeah, Ross obviously has been a big player for us. Um, obviously with Johnny out now, you know, see a how long that is, I'm not sure. Hopefully it's not going to be too long. Um, but yeah, no, Ross, he's up and about in the dressing room there. He's okay.